Welcome Pisces, beautiful Pisces friends. The full moon lunar eclipse is happening in your sign at 25 degrees on September 17th, 10.34 p.m. Eastern time. Wow, this is a big karmic release point. Let's see what it means for you. Keep watching. So Pisces, welcome to the channel or welcome back. Awesome to see you here. So the eclipse is happening at 25 degrees of your sign. Neptune is very close by at 28 degrees. So there, you know, full moons bring illumination. There is a lot of cosmic energy to help you. It's your ruling planet, right? Your ruling planet is being illuminated in terms of your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your desires, especially in relation to your self-identity. Uranus and Pluto are in a favorable aspect to this full moon lunar eclipse, suggesting that it's time to get out of some sort of emotional rut to let the past go, especially, like I said, for you in terms of your future direction how you see yourself, where you want to go next with your life. You may want to cast your mind back to September 2016, when that was the last time we had a full moon lunar eclipse in your sign at around the same degree point. It was 24 degrees back in 2016. So September 2016, cast your mind back. What were some energetic themes that you were going through at that time? There may be echoes. I don't think situations will be exactly repeated. There just may be an echo of an emotional feeling from that time. Saturn opposite Mercury. Saturn still in your sign retrograde. That's been having you rethink all your commitments. Mercury is opposite Saturn at this eclipse. So in your seventh house of relationships. So there may be important conversations. You may be rethinking commitments about relationships. Um, possible at this time. And because it's a lunar eclipse, you may decide to let certain cha karmic chapters come to an end with people in your life. This could be professionally, personally, romantically. Okay. Apply it to your life. So the first thing we're going to do is pull a card from this shadow and light deck. I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video. One of my favorites from this year, um, I do debut different Oracle decks in my Divination Deck Divas YouTube channel membership. If you're interested in joining us and we do a monthly live where I do individual card pulls, I always do a fresh deck unboxing as well. So it's super fun. Just thought I would mention that. Um, all right. So let's see what we have going on for you. Let's go to an overall energetic theme for this full moon lunar eclipse. We know lunar eclipses and chapters. They take things out of our lives. They really draw a line in the sand of that was then, this is now. So let's see what we got here. Pisces, we have self-doubt and hope. Okay. Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Just trying to see what, oh, that's the back of her. I couldn't, I couldn't tell what was going on here. These are two hands in the back of her head and her neck here. Okay. So yes, you know, it is time to release anything that's blocking you from your highest version and vision of yourself. Anything that is making you super critical of yourself, that's that Mercury and Virgo opposite Saturn, that's making you doubt your commitments to yourself, that's making you, you know, self-conscious, that's uh, overly analytical and nitpicky, you know, if it's a person or your own mindset or whatever's going on there. Time to set that aside. It is really time to reclaim some hope for yourself by letting things and people and situations go that don't give you that hope, that instead try to instill a lot of self-doubt. You know, when Saturn goes through our sign, right, your own sun sign, it can naturally bring up, because Saturn is a heavy energy, bring up self-doubts anyway. We don't need extra people around us piling on the self-doubt and the dramas and the shenanigans. So I think this is like, and especially since the moon is conjunct your ruling planet I, and the moon is our emotional energy and our emotional body. And Neptune is about hopes and wishes and dreams and faith. I think it's time for you to look at the naysayers, the doubters, the haters, the frenemies, 
the you know bullshitters and and get them out of your out of your orbit because they're draining your hope for something better for your life but this is also saying to me that if you've been through a karmic chapter of a lot of heaviness and self-doubt that chapter is ending remember karmic release point lunar eclipse and it is time to have more hope for your future this morning i was looking at the astrology for 2025 and it's it's really really interesting there's so many planetary changes more on that they will be forthcoming on the channel um but there is something very hopeful to look forward to which is the north node is going to be going into your sign you know i mean it, it is going to be about new doors opening for you um in 2025 so hold on to that thought all right, but let's see. Let's turn our attention back to this full moon lunar eclipse. Pisces, in your sign, let's see what we need to know. Time for some hope. I'm letting go of those self-doubts. All right, let's see what we have here. Pisces. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the emperor. And we have the magician. Wow, talk about a power couple. A hermit in your heart, though. And the three of pentacles and the six of cups okay this is this is nice i like the six of cups that's coming in here on the end so this is what i feel about this and it's really being driven by sorry cat hair um driven by this hermit in your heart which is the virgo energy um you know of course the sign opposite you which is other people and relationships um why is your heart alone right the hermit here why is you know the hermit energy is is spiritual retreat it is being alone it is being in contemplation it is perhaps a disconnect to self-protect um i think it's because there is probably somebody around you i don't think they're evil because we have magician and emperor here they're not evil but they could be sorry they're they're selfish they're very selfish, they're very focused, and they have a strong will. Not to say that you don't have a strong will, okay? But they have a very strong will and a very clear agenda in terms of what they want to accomplish and why they are in your orbit. So it could be male energy you're dealing with, but it doesn't matter. This is, it could be an Aries, again, doesn't matter. Um, I'm reading this together okay here's you and then here is you over here also this three of coins and the six of cups i think you're going to turn your attention notice how all these people are facing away from this you're going to turn your attention at this full moon lunar eclipse you're going to understand that you have a strong need to let this situation go again sometimes People come into our lives for a season, reason, a lifetime, right? It's not that they're bad or evil, but we are there to learn something from them, you know, about ourselves or the world or whatever. I think what you've learned from this person, of course, it's not to be selfish, but to have more self-interest. This person has a lot of self-interest. They're very powerful. I mean, magician and emperor is very powerful. Again, not to say that you are not, but perhaps they have brought to your attention the need for better boundaries, the need for more agency, the need for more of, you know, associating with people who have maybe a little softer energy, six of cups, or are more reciprocal with their energy. This is not reciprocal. This is me, me, me. Okay, so your attention at this full moon lunar eclipse, maybe I got to get a plan together to start going out and meeting people six of cups which is the little boy and the little girl you know and we have a wedding in this in this deck so some of you may be breaking off an engagement if that applies to your life this full moon lunar eclipse you could just be like i can't take this person's this person's self-interest anymore if i'm really radically honest with myself like it's not aligned um is what I feel like spiritually. There's something that you may be facing if this applies to you. Now, if you're engaged and you're happy, then no, it doesn't apply to you. Only if you're probably dealing with this and you know in your heart something's been off. So, okay? But this is gift. This is gifting energy and it's the cups, which is your energy. So there is a spiritual gift from the universe right now 
showing you what this energy has taught you. And it's time to wrap it up and release it. You don't need this anymore. Notice we have this full moon. Back is turned. So the spiritual lesson, I don't like that word lesson, but okay. The spiritual realization is I can build my future, three of coins, with more aligned energy with different people around me. Okay, so again, going back to this self-doubt and hope, perhaps this person, again, because their energy is perhaps very different from yours, because it is showing up as Aries energy here, it has really shown you your own values. It has shown you where maybe, as I said before, you need to be a little more proactive or a little more committed to your own agenda. Again, not to say you aren't, but there's something here that is perhaps in, in stark contrast to who you are naturally. You know, you're not an Aries. I mean, you could have strong Aries in your chart. I mean, it's possible you could have Aries, uh, Venus, Mercury, you know, Moon, whatever, right? Of course. Um, but we're really looking here at this, this sun, moon, you know, energy, your sun essence, especially too with Saturn in your sign. And at some point it has gone over your sun, which is your ego identity and the moon and your ruling energy. So we're really looking at this from your essential Piscean energy. And there is something that you need different from your connections. And it is that idea of hope, like maybe this person's energy has instilled some sort of self doubt in you, but it's not you. Like maybe you think you have to be like them. You don't have to be like them. Your own energy of go get them and fulfill your dreams may look very different than an Aries energy. You know, the Pisces energy tends to be more, uh, of course it's mutable. It tends to be more exploratory. It tends to be more in the flow. It tends to be more aligned with intuition, whereas Aries is more instinctual and there is a difference. So I think there's some fundamental things you're realizing about how there's an energy disconnect with this and that somebody around you, you know, that's the thing too. You know, sometimes this energy can't understand anything that's different from it. And usually when people don't understand something that's different from them, they shame it or they condemn it or they criticize it. And, you know, because Mercury is in Virgo right now, which, you know, I, th I think there could be some sensitivity to criticism. Like this person might open their big mouth at this full moon and you could just be inside of you starting to go down this road. And then you're like, well, no, wait a minute. I don't need that self-doubt. So I think there's some big shifts and realizations about that. And again, it could just be that you decide from this point that you associate with this person less. Or you take what they have to say a lot more with a big grain of salt than you have previously. So... You know, but they, they showed you something about how you need to step more into your own power. And it may have something to do with communications also because of this three of coins that is here, which can be a, a writing and a speaking and a teaching energy. So it could be that, that you need to surround yourself with more creative type people. Um, so, you know, apply the energy to your life. But this is really a time for you to spiritually reflect on where you're going with hope in your life, not self-doubt possibly caused by somebody in your life who doesn't understand your energy or your own sense of comparing yourself to somebody else who just, there's, it's apples to oranges, right? There's no need to do that. There's no need. You are beautiful and wonderful as you are, Pisces. So Pisces, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you with this energy. I would love to hear. Love you guys. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Oh, and by the way, I also put out a Mars in Cancer video for your moon sign. So you might want to check that out. I will leave a link to it in the description of the video. And if you feel so inclined to share the video with a friend who could use its message, 
I would appreciate it. It's a win-win for me and you and your friend, and it helps the YouTube algorithm recognize my video and get it out to more people. And that really helps my channel and I appreciate it very much. All right, Pisces, I will see you again soon. Take care, still a while, signing out.